Oh, hey folks, came back over to the creek where we were the last couple times. As you can see, the water is up. Had a pretty good amount of rain a couple nights ago. So that's strike one. Strike two is, I forgot my boot. Yep, forgot my boot. So we're either gonna be getting our shoes wet or we're gonna stay on this side of the creek and try to work up some material someplace. Not quite sure what to do yet, but we'll, we'll definitely try to get some gold. Today, everything I find is gonna go to one of you. We'll figure out how that's gonna work later on, but everything, all the gold I find today, everything I find, all the concentrates are gonna go to you. Okay, we made it across the creek. Yep, that water's up. Had to get wet, but that's okay. And this, this has changed quite a bit. This bunch of trees wasn't right here. This was all big rocks all the way up and down through here. It's washed in a lot of gravel. And that all depends on the flow of the flood, you know. If it's up high and carrying a whole bunch of stuff and then drops fast, it can dump a whole bunch of gravels like this. All right. Right up there on the inside, we're gonna we're gonna take a test pan or two there. If we're getting a majority of black sand, maybe we'll set the sluice up and run a couple buckets. Give it a try, right? Give it a try. All right, I took two test pans right out of there. Neither one of them had a very good amount of black sand, so we're gonna move on from here. This isn't dropping the heavies right there. If there is any, they're probably pretty deep, so. We're gonna try to make our way back down to where we normally dig. We know there's gold down there. And the reason I came back to this creek is, I know there's a picker in there someplace and I'm trying to find it. All right, we made it down to our normal spot. Just digging here under this tree. I know there's a shadow in the way, you can't really see that, but we got half a bucket ready. Sluice isn't set up yet, but the creek is pushed way up and in. See that? Way up on the bank here. So we'll try to set the sluice up right here somewhere. Right here would be nice, huh? Right next to us. All right, let's get it set up and start running this bucket. It's a windy day today. I got the sluice set up pretty good. I had to build a little wing dam here, funnel the water into it, and actually it had too much flow, so I to the side of the dam out there and the side right there. We might have to tear a little bit more out. We're running a little too fast, but there I got a piece of gold right, right down in there. You see it? Right there. See it? Then there's another little speck right down in there. I'm not sure if you can see it. And we're not even done with that first bucket. So looks like we're going to be getting one of you guys some gold today. All right, we'll keep on digging. Keep on digging. Bucket number two ready. Actually three. See another little tiny speck in there. So that's three pieces in there that I saw. So let's run this through and see what's in this one. Now I got bucket number four through the box. Got another flake in there. Let me walk over and show you. Four buckets. Got another flake right off the end of my finger right there. See it? All right, we're gonna keep running. I was seeing a bunch of lead too. Piece of the lead. That nice flake right there though. I see a couple other little specks in here. All right, we're gonna keep on running. Gonna take a little break first. Okay, it looks like we're losing the amount of flow that we have, so we're gonna have to do some work before we run bucket number five here. I'd dropped a couple scoops on and it don't have enough flow the water level has dropped if you can see see the rocks up there kind of exposed so we'll shovel that over to the side maybe plug up some of these holes in here get some more flow going in all right let's try this yeah that's better all right you can even tell it brought the water back up on the dam, see that? All right, got bucket number six through. I see a couple more little specks. 
Got some more little tiny lead. I see another little speck here. And there was a, another bigger flake there, but I don't see it. Looks like we got another flake up here. That bigger one traveled down. It's migrating through. It, it'll do that. All right, still running pretty good. But I was, I was getting ready to leave and two things stopped me. Got this big rock over here. You can't really see it. Let me get my shadow out of the way. Well, that's a good rock. I got it so it'll wiggle now. The material looks good underneath it, so we're gonna get that out and get all that material out. But I didn't bring a drink with me and this water isn't safe. So we're gonna go up around the corner here and collect some runoff from the cliff face. We got a cup right there. Let's go get a drink. Okay, we came up here. You can see, uh, hopefully you can see that. There's occasional drips coming off the moss, off the rock face here. This is all good water to drink. It's all been filtered. We just gotta find one that's dripping kinda quick so it doesn't take so long to get some water. That one's kinda dripping good up there. Let me just take a little walk here and try to find the best one. Pretty cool right here though, isn't it? All right, it was about three minutes, three and a half minutes, and there was about an inch of water in the bottom of that cup. I just drank it actually before I took a picture of it, but I don't know, there's already quarter inch in there. Let's give it, I don't know, 15 minutes, we'll come up and get a proper drink, shall we? Just started working on bucket seven. Yeah, a hunk of lead right up there. Hunk of lead. Okay, we got bucket number seven through. I don't think we're getting much more gold. We're gonna take it all top all the way to the bottom. We're getting more lead in the bottom. I'm just looking for pickers. I know there's a picker in this area someplace and I'm trying to get it. Oh, we still have a few flakes of gold in there and some has migrated down into the VDR. But before we get another bucket full, let's go get another drink, huh? Working on bucket number eight, I think, number eight. Taking a little break, my back's starting to get sore, so I'm gonna rest for a minute. We're gonna do 10 buckets. I mean, if number 10 is amazing, we'll do 11, of course, but the goal is 10 buckets. Last and final bucket, bucket number 10. Unless it's amazing. Okay, I'm not seeing anything extraordinary in there. We know we have some flakes in there. 
Still a few up in the in the black mat. Let's get this thing in a bucket into a pan and check it out. Oh yeah, look at that fossil. That fossil. Kind of coral fossil or something there. Pretty cool. Got it in a pan. Look at the lead in there. It's all tiny lead. A whole bunch of lead. Got a piece of gold over here. A couple showing up there. I'll get it closer and bring it back. Alright, there it is. Those are some decent flakes. I count 15 to 20, including all the micros, and I'm sure I missed a couple back in there. Look at the coarseness of the black sand, though. Bigger stuff, see it? Some garnets in there. Iron stones. Alright. I'll dry all this up and send it out to somebody, whoever wins. Along with all that lead, too. You're welcome. Alright. That was fun, huh? I had a lot of fun. Alright, that's about it for today. We got some gold. That was fun, huh? We'll fill that hole in, push that big one in, throw a few more big ones in. We might come back and continue this hole sometime. Gotta start remembering where we have dug and where we haven't. Alright, thanks for stopping in and sticking around. Glad you came along. Gonna head home now and uh, figure out what we'll do tomorrow. We'll do something for a couple hours tomorrow at least, but we got some chores to do. So until then, and as always, have fun. Hey, there's some berries. <laughs>